Hello and welcome to another Ronda Enterprise video program. My name is Lisa Britton. We begin today's program on rather a sad note. Many people will have been saddened to see the closure of the last working pit in the Ronda, thus severing the historic link between the valley and steam coal which brought the area worldwide fame. The last coal was brought to the surface at Mardi Colliery on Monday 2nd of July 1986. Although coal were no longer surfacing the Rondra, thus marking the end of an era, mining operations will still continue under Mardi, with the coal being brought up eight miles away at the Taro Colliery complex over at Hirwine. Probably many of you will remember the success of Bob Geldof's Live Aid concert last year which raised millions of pounds to help famine relief in Africa. But were you aware of a similar event that was held in the Ronda recently? It was called naturally enough Valley Aid and although admittedly held on somewhat a smaller scale than Live Aid the festival site at Florin Kenny and Rugby Field Port still managed to attract over 3,000 people. Although most people's attention was firmly focused on the bands who played from midday to 10pm, there was still plenty to see and do, even if the music wasn't to your taste, as the field was crammed with sideshows and distractions for children of all ages. The organisers were so encouraged by the success of this year's concert and raised a total of £9,000. They hoped to turn it into an annual event, which can only mean good news for music lovers and famine relief organisations working in Africa. A few days before the wedding of Miss Sarah Ferguson to Prince Andrew, we spoke to several people outside Triochi Library and asked them how they would be celebrating the royal wedding. Excuse me, how do you intend to celebrate the Royal Wedding? I'm working. I work in a hospital for old people and we put on a wedding breakfast for them. I've been paying to in hospital, a small cottage hospital on the main new road. Well, uh, just a general, uh, we're hoping to have some moose and just generally watch, watch the telly and, and, and celebrate all day. So. Excuse me, madam, how do you intend to celebrate the Royal Wedding? Um, well, I'll be at home sitting down and watching it. Uh, well, I'm be having my meals, right? <laughs> Excuse me, how are you going to celebrate the Royal Wedding? I'll be at work. I'm going back to Birmingham this weekend, which is where I work, so I'll be uh, hosting a children's tea party. Well, uh, to be honest, I haven't really thought about it very much. Uh, I had no intention of doing anything special. I'd probably go for a drink in the night, but uh, that's about it. Um, <laughs> well, I suppose... Uh, We'll have me and my mates to go out and have a drink or toast them, I suppose. But uh, that's about it, really. So I might go to a party. Is it a party at the church hall? Or I might um, sit down and watch it on television. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I'd probably 
watch on telly or something like that. Oh, I'm at the party, I don't know, because there's a party up in church hall in Cumbin Park. Well, the same as normal, like it's my pension day, yeah, I'll go and get my pension. And when finally the 23rd of July arrived, our camera crew spent a busy day filming the celebrations which took place throughout the Ronda. The amount of time and energy that some people spent organising street parties must have been equal to the amount expended on the actual wedding. Avondale Road in Gethley was a notable example where residents had formed a savings club to pay for the lavish food and decorations which was enjoyed by the streets, adults and children alike. The patriotic residents' efforts to brighten up the surroundings certainly paid a dividend when a BBC News crew came and filmed their celebrations. Edmund Street, Tylerstown, may not have appeared on television, but our video crew spotted a few television celebrities taking part in the street's fancy dress competition. Although we never found out what Spider-Man and the Incredible Hulk had for lunch, the rest of the street certainly enjoyed tucking into the jelly and ice cream on offer. The residents of Holyrood Terrace, Llona Pier, would never claim to have held the biggest street party in the Ronda, though surely it must have been one of the most relaxed when all the partygoers spent an enjoyable afternoon basking in the sun. The scene at Cumbin Park was far from relaxed when over 300 children squeezed into the church hall to watch the wedding ceremony. There were plenty of alternative distractions both outside the hall and in for those bored by the pomp of the wedding. A magician and disco provided entertainment inside, whilst outside children could bounce happily on the giant inflatable bed. Or simply, as most did, eat and enjoy the party atmosphere. <laughs> 